What's up, you guys? It's me, Kiki Solano, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. BYU basketball is staying busy. Who from BYU baseball is headed to the minors? And we celebrate Global Running Day the only way we know how. Let's go. It's hard to tell if BYU basketball is in season or not, because a lot has been going on. Yoli Childs announced that he would be returning for BYU for his senior season. Cougar Nation, I want to let you guys know I'm coming back for my senior year. Let's make some magic happen. That was wild. Everyone was freaking out. I found out when I was out of town, and I was pretty excited. I can't believe it! I can't believe it! But the coach's reaction was the best. He's actually back, and they've wasted no time putting him to work. Look at this. What even is this? Maybe tug of war is their way of working out, but it's not their only way of working out. BYU Basketball tweeted out this video of the guys putting in work, doing their strength and conditioning in the weight room and on the court. Which is good, because it sounds like Coach Pope is working on setting up a pretty intense schedule. Uh, and we don't have a lot of long-term contracts in terms of, in terms of our, our, our schedule. So, you know, make some, some, sign some really stupid contracts. That's, that's my goal. There's exciting things happening for BYU Baseball two. Sophomore infielder Jackson Clough was drafted yesterday in the sixth round of the MLB draft as the 183rd pick to the Washington Nationals. Yeah, I was excited just because it's something that I've always been looking forward to as I've been playing baseball. I was hoping you get that opportunity and I mean that's all it is really is an opportunity to, to keep playing so I was pumped. Clough ended the season with a 327 batting average, 56 RBI, and led the team in stolen bases, going 12 for 12. It's always good to get some Cougs in the minors. It's global running day, so naturally, we have to talk about track and field. They begin competition in the NCAA championships today in Austin, Texas. Texas! We told you BYU set the record for the most qualifiers in one event at nationals, sending six guys in the 10K. But track and fielder Rory Linkletter has now turned it into an NCAA trivia question. How many teams have sent enough guys in the 10K to nationals to build a human pyramid? Well, it's just BYU. But in case you needed a visual, now you got one. It's impressive they made it to nationals. But this pyramid, that's pretty impressive too. Uh, your knees kind of digging into my spine. <laughs> Let's send some Kiki Karma to the Human Pyramid and the rest of the team in the NCAA Championships. Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. Go give us that follow. I'll see you guys next time. I gotta run. Really though, it's Global Running Day. See ya.